for one day, once a year, every year for a decade now. All of us can work together to make sure that people all over the world get enough food so that they can have full bubbles and enjoy their day. Trinity Lutheran Church is transformed into an assembly line, a food processing plant. We turn our main um, meeting area into a, a small food packing facility. Um, we've got eight production lines up and running. Anyone can get involved, and so many do. Teens help unload and set up the equipment. Push. Volunteers keep the production running. During the actual meal packing, I'm usually one of the people that helps keep each table supplied with the food that we're putting into the packs that we're packing. And people of all ages stand side by side to prepare a meal. I like the interaction of, uh, for, for example, age groups that little kids can participate and older people like us can participate and uh, there's a camaraderie and a common um, a desire to uh, help people to realize that, you know, we're very fortunate. It's so much fun to see you'll have a six-year-old and a retiree working next to each other and just the camaraderie and the fun and the laughing. I love how it's an activity that people of all ages can do. So we'll have, you know, an eight-year-old next to an 80-year-old packing food and it's amazing. I love that communal aspect of it, I love how simple it is, and I love how it leads into our biblical mandate to try to take care of our neighbor. Because this is not just any meal. On um, the leaven, we're literally feeding people. Um, the light of the world, I think, um, you know, nothing brings a smile to a, a hungry face like a belly full of food. And then salt of the earth, I mean, I just can't think of anything better than some good hard work with um, your community and, and trying to make the world a better place. This meal is a one pound package of nutritious, dry, shelf-stable food developed 45 years ago by food scientists from Archer Daniels, General Mills, and Cargill to help feed the world. Trinity partners with the humanitarian food relief organization, Kids Coalition Against Hunger, to pack these meals. Uh, first, the soy is where the actual product gets its protein from. Uh, it's 52% protein. It's got the equivalent of three pieces of red meat without the fat per serving. Uh, the actual dehydrated vegetable blend has seven of the nutritious vegetables that the body needs for its daily supply of nutrition. The vitamin seasoning uh, has 21 vitamins and minerals, nine of the amino acids to help the digestive system, and a slightly elevated sodium content so it helps to retard tapeworms in third world countries' kids' intestines. The final thing is, is, is the rice. It's actually where the actual product gets its carbohydrates from. When you mix the one bag with six cups of boiling water, you can feed six adults or 12 kids a hot, nutritious meal. Yes, a little extra salt of the earth. I often think of the salt of the earth as a preservative. So in the ancient world, they didn't have refrigerators. Salt was worked into meat to make sure it didn't go bad. What was there wouldn't be ruined, destroyed, or die. So that people could eat and have a good, sustainable meal. When I think about what we're doing out in the big room right now is trying to find a way to embody what it means to be salt of the earth, to preserve the world around us, to make sure that those who are needy and get what they need, and to make sure that what there is doesn't go to waste. Because Trinity members know we are called to follow in Jesus' footsteps, to work our way into the mix. What we were taught is that you love God and you love your neighbor. And if you identify with and help your neighbor, it means filling in. I think it's fundamental to being a Christian called to be the light of the world. Often we think of the light of the world as Jesus, but in the world we live in right now, sometimes the name of Jesus has been tainted by those who will say they proclaim Jesus and then do very hurtful, hateful things. We see this all around us each and every day. It's one of the reasons why it's somewhat difficult to be a Christian in today's world because sadly the church is getting a bad rap right now. When we think of the light of the world, we think of something like 
that draws you toward it, that gives you hope, that gives you warmth and lets you know that you're not alone. So imagine you're in a dark place, it's a dark night, and you're walking through a valley and you see upon a hill a home with a light on. It gives you a destination, it gives you a hope, something to drive towards to say, I can get there and maybe there's going to be someone there who can help me out. So when I think of light or light of the world, that's what I start to think about. And as I think of this event, I think it gives people an opportunity to say, there is hope in the middle of your difficulty. Because Jesus gives us all hope. He took five loaves and fed a lot of people. And I think doing this is helping us take very little and nourishing a lot of people around the world. These meals go to local food pantries, national and international relief organizations. The salt of the earth. If you put food in somebody's belly, it is a lot easier for them to hear what it is that you're trying to say. In other words, I can shoot words at you from 10 to 20 different directions. But if I'm not giving you the help that you, that you actually need, why would you listen to me? So on this one day, Trinity gathers some rice, soy, and nutrients and feeds 40,000 people. And over 10 years, Trinity has packed enough meals to feed almost a quarter of a million people, more than the entire population of our home, the city of Grand Rapids. It's no different than, than us gathering around uh, uh, a, a, a table for a, a Sunday dinner and the whole family's there and we're saying to ourselves, you know what, I'm cooking for you because I love you. We just want to love on as many people as we can, whether we see them or we don't see them, but we want to let them know that God loves them. A message we can all share. Bless our packing today. Bless our packing today. Those who eat the food. Those who will eat the food. In your name we pray. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen.